Right. I get to hike with the Crawfords today. <sighs> Woo! I'm excited. <laughs> we are the Crawfords. We have six kids and are hiking the Appalachian Trail, a 2,200 mile hike from Georgia to Maine. We don't know if we can finish it, but we are doing it together. We are currently at Mahusik Notch right here. Most people call this the hardest mile of the entire Appalachian Trail, and we are gonna be doing it with our kids, including a toddler. Wow. And we have a guest vlogger here, hey. Kiwi. <laughs> Show us your tattoo. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the size? Okay, that's a badass one, right? But you it's said it's a bad one. <laughs> okay. We've ran into Pee Wee the last couple of days, but she's gonna be doing some guest vlogging for us <laughs> during this actual thing. Do you know how to operate this thing? Um here you just take it. Is it then, kinda like a yeah, phone? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay. And right. that flips down like that. Yeah. yeah. Do, do, do. <laughs> right here, what you guys say? What's my name? Pee. Wee. There you go. Yeah. Oh, good. But you could say Pee Wee. Okay, Seven, how you feeling? I'm uh, excited, I guess. <laughs> Memory, how you feeling? Climbing with our hands. Um, a little we excited, but I don't really know what to expect. Um, Dove, how you um, feeling? Head. Crappy. Kind of excited. <laughs> Rainier, how you feeling? I'm kind of excited. Kind of excited, Cammy. <laughs> um. It'll be fun to see him go through this, I think. <laughs> okay, so far being part of the family is pretty fun. Um, but you have to wait your turn. You just get in line and <laughs> and you just Rainier is Rainier's blazing. Oh, oh. I need to get up higher ground. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if everybody's tall enough to be on this ride. Um <laughs> but we're doing it. <laughs> Valea, are you tall enough to be on this ride? Are you tall enough? She's tall enough. She got this. Beast mode. Okay, I'm just waiting my turn now. We're all in line. So excited to be part of the crowd today. I don't know what I'm pointing at. This camera is not my phone. Everybody's gonna get sick watching this vlog today. I think somebody got into the Mahusik Notch and they got scared and they pooped themselves because it smells kind of bad. <laughs> and really though, like if you had to go, there's not really a great place to dig a hole. But there's holes, holes everywhere. everywhere. You just have to find one of those so, 20 footers. I think there's like a tunnel effect where we're getting a waft of, yeah, we're smelling fear now. That's what we're smelling. <laughs> So now we have a good taste of the Mahusik Notch. We are nowhere near through it, but how's everybody feeling? Is it hard or fun? Or both? Both. both. <laughs> uh, so far I'm having kind of fun. Kind of, it's kind of fun. <laughs> Rainier popped out here, but he was supposed to pop out over here with everybody else. But this little guy is so tiny, he just squeezes through a hole and kind of goes his own way. Hike your own hike. Yeah, he's hiking his own hike. No, no, no. He said, I'll tell you what we're doing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> got him. For here is up the Oh, that's funny. Okay, family coaching. Memory is hang on, hang on. No, I gotta hold your Trying to get down. Hanging out. This is the most awkward thing ever. Oh, my God. Okay, hang on, hang on. oh, there's a method. I just had a seven year old um, use my shoelaces as a way to pull up. <laughs> there's that. And now they're just going to shove kids through cracks because that's how you do it. And this is the last we saw of the Crawfords as they disappear. <laughs> it's like the mountains are giving birth to a Crawford right now. Okay, I hear a voice from up there, but I don't see anybody. <laughs> the mountains Everybody are is everywhere. Hello. Where are you? Hello. Oh, there's a hand. <laughs> so, when they 
handed me the camera, I said, oh my gosh, this makes me nervous. This is a really nice camera. Please don't tell me how much it is and what if I drop it? <laughs> And they said, it's fine. Can We've dropped it, it so many times already. Well, I dropped it in like this really deep hole. It was like a hole inside of a hole inside of a hole way down. So I had to go spelunking, basically, for the camera. Okay. Um, but it's good. It's working. And now Freya's <laughs> foot stuck. Oh. And now we're stuck. That's great. <laughs> oh, and there's Flash. Oh, hey. Hey, Flash. Hey. Okay, I don't... Go There's a crack on the screen. I hope I didn't do that. Okay, so on my channel there is a guest vlogger. Um, Flash is vlogging me. And I'm the guest vlogger for the <laughs> the Crawfords. So we're we're vlogging vloggers vlogging. That sounds like um Dr. Seuss. Oh goodness. Okay, everybody's going into the hole. Coming out the other side. This is how you hike with a baby. Rock climb with a baby. <laughs> Rainy, are you having fun? Mm hmm. Do you ever think he's going to come out the top when you bend over so much? You know, I thought so, but he's, he's actually strapped around his legs. Oh, let's. Can we do a preview? Yeah. Yeah, flip him upside down. <laughs> Let's go there. He's strapped around his legs and he has shoulder straps on. Oh no, I wanted a preview of you holding him upside down in your pack. Oh. <laughs> All right, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> okay, and then shake. We, I want proof that the baby's not going to fall out. Rainier, what are you eating? What is that? What is it? Fruit snack. Oh, fruit snack. He was like, Pooby. Yeah, how do you say there. say Pee Wee? He was like asking for Pee What? It sounds like he says Privy when he I says know. my name. So now they're calling me Privy. Uh, okay. That's Got terrible. It. See you later, Rainier. Bye. Because the two arrows say you have to go that way. <laughs> oh man. Okay, Eden's gonna do the back backwards approach. <laughs> Oh, I'm just getting right back. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's so hard. You gotta laugh. Ethan, are you having fun? <laughs> you have fun. Make me believe it. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I got it. There we go. Okay. There we go. Cammy, what are you doing? <laughs> The Mahusik. Are you feeling better? Well, that was only one mile. <laughs> so. Not... How long did that take? It took like a. How long did that take, Rainier? Yeah. I think it was like three hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> That's what this kid does. He takes your buckle, he snaps it together. Oh, it sucks. Cause you like go to put your backpack on and you like lift it up and you find out all your buckles are already buckled. What'd you think? Long, but it was really fun. Especially hiking with Pee Wee. That was really fun. Um, I wish that we slack packed through that section. What'd you think of that? It was really hard. Yeah. You got kind of worn out, huh? It was really long. Yeah. We weren't really able to stop for food much in there and Flea started to get pretty hungry and tired. So that was a hard part. Eden, mm. what'd you think of that? I'm glad we're out of it. First five minutes were as kind of fun and then I was really over it, but I'm glad to be done with it. And it was really fun to hike with Pee Wee through it. Oh, Pee Wee cracked my screen. Look at this. Uh, we're wondering if something <laughs> I don't think so. That's okay. I have like the super insurance on this. Okay, so hiking with the Crawfords for a whole mile. <laughs> and a hell of a mile it was. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, I was with them for like three hours. 
Anyway, so one of the things that I noticed, and I've actually been thinking a lot about because I've just really grown to love being around him. Um, so it's super awesome to hike with him. Like actually hike with him, not just run into him. And, um, but there's people that pass, and I'm probably guilty of it too when I first met them, but people will pass and they talk to all the kids and say, are you having fun? Are you having fun? Is everybody having fun? <laughs> and I can't imagine how annoying it is. Um, and I kind of feel like maybe unconsciously they're yeah, trying to, I don't know how else to say it other than pass judgment on the parenting. <laughs> Like, I don't know. I don't know any other way to say it. Is that kind of how it seems though? I just kind of feel like people want to make sure that the kids are having fun. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But at the same time, the kids are processing this trail exactly the same way that I am processing it. Exactly the same way that anybody else on the trail would be processing it. And the fact of the matter is, it comes with a lot of suck. <laughs> And it doesn't have anything to do with um, the parenting. It doesn't have anything to do with, um, you know, that the kids don't want to be out here. Um, and, and, you know, there are moments, like, where you really don't want to be out here. Like, you can think of better things that you want to be doing. But in hindsight, at the end of the day, like, this is what you want to be doing. I don't know. I just think it's really interesting. And they're a family that wants to do this together and they have options but they choose to do it together even the kids i mean we had our moments of laughter we had our moments of frustration today and um and that's all totally normal so i don't know like if you meet the crawfords and you ask him like oh is everybody having fun you're not always gonna be like you're not always gonna get the response yeah it's the best time of our life <laughs> It's hard. It's really, really hard. But I don't think that they would do it any other way. And I mean, same with me. Like, if you guys are following me, um, I cry like every other day. And um, it's just how you process the trail. It's the lessons that the trail gives you. And I think at the end of it all, they're going to be better people and they're going to be better kids. These kids are like hella badass. Am I allowed to say that on this channel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not uh, <laughs> what? I'm not censoring it. Okay. Um, and I just think they're, they're such wonderful kids and it is, there's a lot of chaos <laughs> even, um, to keep up with all six of them and, um, but it's just really amazing to watch it, how it all plays out. I don't know. It's just really cool. It's magical. <laughs> um, so anyways, I want to do something else really quick before, um, we end this. What have you learned on the trail? Like, I don't know. How to be seeing, tough. Uh, yeah. yeah, like seeing stuff, different things that we don't see at home and stuff. Yeah. I know. So I know you have bad days, but overall, are you happy to be out here with your family? Yeah. How has this trip made you a better person? What have you learned? And mm -hmm. in hindsight, are you really glad that you're out here? Um, yeah, I, I am glad that we're out here. Probably what I've learned is just like, if everyone does their job, they can get far, especially with a family like this, and uh, how to be like gracious with each other and work with each other, then yeah, you can get really far. What are you thankful for being out here? How has it made you grow? Um, and in hindsight, are you really happy to be out here with your family? Well, I think one of the things I've learned, or one of the ways that, I'm, that I've grown, well, 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 is <laughs> I'm not always going to know what's going to happen tomorrow. And it's okay like not to always be able to plan out everything. Hey, yeah. Just um, go with the flow sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Teamwork is like really, really essential out here. Like even like in a family, especially, but even outside a family, like the hikers, like we all kind of look mm -hmm. out for each other. And to one of the things my dad says is to like always expect that the other person has har had a harder day than you. So like you might be like going through all this stuff, but like also look out for other people. And I don't know, that was helpful helpful for me to hear and picture. Um, looking back on the trail, 
I can think of a lot more fun things I could have done these four months, I think. <laughs> but I think it's made that's, me... That's, that's a normal. That's yeah. normal, yeah. <laughs> I think it's made me stronger. I think it will be one of the most educational or defining shaping of my life in like the educational anything. sense that I've ever been through. We just met so many people and been through so much and just like, yeah, I f it feels like it's changed me a lot. And I think it's, we've grown closer as a family and I think there's no way we're gonna ha be able to talk about our past without bringing this up. Yeah. Really anything. Do you think though that you can see through your parents' eyes why they wanted to take you all out here to do oh, this? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why I just, didn't really like it uh, and I still don't really like it but I can definitely see like the reasons and like I think it'll be worth it and, yeah but it still sucks sometimes and so how do you feel about people always asking you are you guys having fun because they want you to be having fun because you're kids but at the yeah. same time like, uh, like you all do process things have to have fun <laughs> but, yeah I mean it'd be nice but like even I like someone said like even at home we wouldn't be having fun yeah. all the time and this isn't really much different in fact i mean i think we out here everything is just like yeah. amplified like we have terrible terrible times and then we have like amazing yeah times. that's actually really true um one of the things i was told is um your lows are just as low as your highs are high yeah out here exactly high highs low lows yep just like yeah because when it's raining and it's cold and snowing or whatever you appreciate going into a restaurant it's all warm you yeah the you're definitely it's a lot just, more appreciative of yeah. like a real toilet yeah. <laughs> like stuff you take uh, advantage of every yeah, day i never in my life looked forward to walking to a parking lot <laughs> more than i have that's funny place. rainier rainier what do you think um, you went for us too. Rainier's always excited. Okay, mom and dad, what do you hope that your kids gain from this? One, I think this experience will make them stronger. Yeah. Um, so I think they'll have, they'll know that there's things that they can do that I didn't know I could do when I was their age. And the second is I hope that they have deeper relationships with each other and with us. Mm -hmm. I really want my kids to know right now. that they can do hard things like physically and emotionally and they'll be okay and actually they're going to be even better for it. Mm -hmm. I just think that there's something that this trip will do for our family that I don't, not many, not much else could have done, like kind of make us more cohesive so that even when the kids grow up and move away, get married, whatever they choose to do, um, we're going to have this like shared experience together that's pretty, I think it's, it's pretty special and it's pretty um, just different, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I like it. Okay, so to add to that, um, I think that everybody on the trail can relate in a way that this is definitely character building. Um, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you've lived like the most wild, adventurous, whatever life before this, you're still gonna build character. And um, like I said, I spent my time kicking and screaming through this whole thing, but it doesn't mean that at the end of the day, I'm not happy to be out here. I am really happy to be out here. It's, um, it just really means a lot and the people that you meet you bond so much faster and so much closer because you just want to look out for each other because there's so much suck out here um that you know what each other are going through and stuff and i think that's kind of what um cammy was trying to say is um it'll bring everybody closer together but like don't get it wrong like just because there are so many bad days out here too the highs are so high. <laughs> I mean, the great days are like so great. Um, but I think at this point in the trail, a lot of us, um, it's not normal for a hiker to just be ready to, to be done. 
Um, we've been out here for so long and we're kind of ready to go back to our normal lives and and that kind of thing. Like we daydream about swimming in pools and hanging out with our friends and spending time with our loved ones. And it's not abnormal how everybody is feeling. But anyways, I don't know. It was just something I was thinking about. Uh, all the people coming through. Are you having fun? <laughs> and it's like, you can't expect these kids to be having fun all the time. Look what they're doing. Also, it's amazing. And um, I think in hindsight that they're going to look back and say, wow, I can't believe we did that. And have these stories for the rest of their life and be better off for it. So, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. Like, until you get to know them, there's no way that you can really understand. That's all. They're amazing. <laughs> and we're going to have lunch now. I think our 30 minutes is almost up. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys think about our guest vlogger, Pee Wee? Besides her breaking my camera. Isn't it crazy that Amazon sells- I did, I broke your camera. I'm so sorry. You, you warned me that you might do that. I know, um, I was terrified of doing that and- But Amazon, isn't it crazy they sell drop and spill protection to oh, through good. hikers? So, we'll get a new one. Okay, um, I'll where, that one. Where can, <laughs> where can they uh, find your channel? Oh, my channel is under my real name. It's Amanda Bess, B-E-S-S. -S. That's it. You could probably search like Appalachian Trail hike AT something and I'll pop up. On YouTube. She's one of the, the top channels, so it should be easy to find. Thanks, Amanda. We'll see you guys next time.